Water drums by the center. Quick march.
for so he come near. Good afternoon and welcome to Glynneath. First Minister, His Majesty's Lord Lieutenant, Mayors, distinguished guests, and Max. Coming on from an initial conversation with John Quick, Robbie Riley, Steve Bayliss and others in half May, when Friday afternoon, this project quite literally grew out of the Today is the culmination of four years of hard work, obtaining the services of our fantastic local sculptor and artist, Ruben Vinant. Applying. Applying for and receiving the grants to cover the costs, commissioning the statue, and then finding the best possible solution for its erection and unveiling. All taking place through a pandemic, and I think today is the most wonderful setting to pay tribute to one of our own in Guinea, Max Boyce MB. It has not been easy, but I am not one who someone will shy away from a challenge. I have to say that seeing everyone here today has made all of the hard work these last four years something special and when this static is unveiled, I hope you will see that the outcome is truly amazing. Lilith is a wonderful place to live and we are blessed to experience the natural views of the valleys, waterfalls, rivers, natural wildlife that we see around us every day. This wasn't always the case however and when Max was growing up, this area was covered with heavy industry and coal mining bearing the major player. To be able to understand and reflect on our unique heritage and history in this area, and then see how the area has transformed itself into the one of the most aesthetically pleasing valleys in the country is fantastic. Go closer to the mic. Oh, yeah. Look at the mic. <laughs> Seeing the statue of Max being erected here at one of the major gateways into our community, the town of Dimi, it will add to the history, heritage, and culture of the Upper East Valley. We will soon see a coal tram sighted at the other gateway into the town. This will be another symbol of our past and present. Max means so much to so many, not only in Kenny, but across Wales and worldwide, for his unique, unique blend of music, comedy, and love of rugby. Just don't mention something that. Max has received an MBE and has been immortalised by Eamon Holmes's This Is Your Life in the 70s. I would like to think that this unveiling of his statue sits alongside those fabulous public events that Max has experienced. The amount of people here to share this moment with Max, Jean, Cathy, Rhiannon and his granddaughters will be very special to Max and memories that will last forever. Most of you will know of his affinity with rugby and golf clubs where he is president. Is evident with his involvement with the male voice choir, local primary schools who have Max as a topic to cover this trip, and others is fantastic. His involvement with local charities such as the Wales Air Ambulance, I know, means so much to him. There is an ongoing relationship with our friends from Hoyt Trains Rugby Football Club in Scotland that Max is heavily involved with, and it's also lovely to see six of our friends from Hoyt Gear celebrating the day with Max. On any given day, you are likely to find Max inspecting the pitch, putting seed down to help the grass grow, or helping to mark the pitch out for a match. On Tuesday of this week, we welcome BBC Radio Wales to Geneath RFC. The Jason Mohammed show was broadcast live from the club. When tickets for this unique event were announced, I am told that they were sold out within just a few hours. And we heard from guests who came to watch and listen as far as Abergavenny and Newport and Swansea. There were 150 adoring fans of Max in the audience. Locally, we know him, we know Max as just one of us. But to others, he is a living legend. And watching the eyes of those guests on Tuesday light up when Max was shaking their hand or having a selfie with them was extraordinary. Max is back out on tour, selling, across, selling out across Wales, and with a further two sellout shows to come at the Millennium Centre in Cardiff to finish off. Who could have contemplated what would have been done during the last two to three months? whilst we have put this event together. It has taken a lot of the Max and the times it has been hard work, but this start to be directed will bring to conclusion four years of making good time. Earlier today, we paid our respects at the Cenotaph in the Miners' Welfare Park to a soldier who had received a full royal pardon, which has formally been recognised with the name of the reason by His Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of Western Morgan. Another unique piece of history to It is fabulous to see what can be achieved in Greece. We are very lucky to have some excellent community funds that we can apply to to fund things such as the Statue of Max. 
with the representatives from these organisations involved are here today, whose help with applicants applying for the funding and whose assistance is very much appreciated to help get things done. Many thanks to the Volta's group and energy. We have seen in the last eight years funding touching almost a half a million pounds which has been obtained for the work we've done and it's transformed the club into a community hub. It is not only used by those playing the playing rugby, but families visit the playground, members of the local choir to practice, members of the local swimming club, and for the people of our future, the school children who we saw here with us today when they were These community funds are currently being applied to for our next ambitious project in Lidl, a three quarters of a million pounds to transform the miners welfare park, the sports teams, families, and the playgrounds and cafes. The plan is to create a park within the centre of Lidl, which will be what the people want to use, Visitors will want to return to and enjoy the facilities on offer and will be there for future generations to enjoy. But back to Max. I am very proud to have helped to deliver this project with the help of so many who have been involved along the way, including Ruben Ayn and our sculptor, Gareth Dablel, Zarelling and Ben, who helped construct the platform and seating which we see here today. It is a fantastic setting for the statue. MB Fine Arts Foundry, who helped cast the statue in bronze. Stewards from Porto Cava who helped to place the statue, John Pierce Haulage, Walter Sizzle Engineering, the South Wales Police and Forest Traffic Management for their huge help with planning and setting in place the traffic controls that allow for this event to take place in a safe environment. The wonderful children of Cumnaid Primary School and Eskol Gamrad Gamrai Cumnaid who performed here for us today. And Max's very own tribute band, not many people like Max, trip folk singers like Max have their own tribute band. Boyce Son will perform with the club later for us today and who are helping to raise funds for a very, very worthwhile charity, the Tubby Trust, in many, memory of our very own Michael Tubby with us. <laughs> to the local dignitaries who will need to be here today to mark the unveiling of the statue for Max is testament to the popularity and high esteem that Max has held. To Morgan Francis, Chairman and Committee of the Rugby Football Club, who allow me to come up with some slightly bonkers ideas at times, and who approved my grant application requests. Max didn't want the 3G initially because he would get rid of green grass, but we see that it is the most used community facility in the world. <laughs> to the band of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers, who have made this event truly special with their performance here today, and they will march back along the high street to return to Arbonant Park, before playing once again on Max's hallowed turf before Gunnith RFC take on Estrid Gunnice RFC pick up us at 3 o'clock today and I hope that many of you, as many of you as possible will be able to join us where the male, male voice choir and their friends will also entertain supporters before the match. It might not be like Wembley in 1999 with Max and Tom Jones but I'm sure it will be some sight. Hopefully you will all return to the clubhouse where Louise and her staff have worked extremely hard to ensure that everyone will be entertained there this afternoon and evening. Following the match, there is live entertainment provided for you all to enjoy and also a dinner at the club. Max has put Kenneth on the map and now Kenneth will put Max on the map. Google Earth, Tom Tom and the satellite navigation systems are available. But he will be our beacon for when we return home to Kenneth. A, watch, a symbol and a watchful eye for passers-by and will forever be looking through the gap in the houses with guitar in hand towards his beloved Avanan Park. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I now hand over to uh, His Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of Western Morgan. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, good afternoon. It's an absolute pleasure to be here this afternoon to join you all on this very auspicious occasion. We've all come here today to pay tribute to a very special person, someone who we regard as a national treasure, Mr. Max Boyle, MP. Greatness, and others have greatness thrust upon them. With his wonderful talent 
and amazing skills, Max was without doubt born to greatness, and he wears its mantle with grace, dignity, and modesty. Through his poetry and music, Max touches our hearts and souls, makes us laugh and makes us sad. He evokes memories of a bygone world, but also draws us pointedly into the present. With the power of his words, sharper than any sword, he cuts through to the heart of an issue, leaving us to reflect on what is important to us and to the community. Commanding huge respect nationally and internationally, Max is and always will be an incredible ambassador of the way. He received the MPB in 2000 from the King when he was Prince of Wales. He commented humorously at the time, why did it take them so long? It was such well-deserved recognition for Max's enduring contribution to Wales, for bringing joy and laughter to our lives, and for his kindness and compassion to others. Max has met nearly all of the members of the royal family many times over the years. His Majesty the King holds Max in high regard, such that I have received this message from His Majesty to give you today. Please convey my heartfelt congratulations to Mr. Max Boyce, MPE, following the unveiling ceremony of a bronze statue in his honour, which is being held today in Glynneath. I was pleased to be reminded of Mr. Boy Mr. Boyce's remarkable efforts in fundraising over the years for so many charitable causes and of his lasting impact on Welsh culture. I hope Max will also forgive me. I take this opportunity to wish him a very happy 80th birthday. I send my warmest good wishes to you all, to those who are present for a most memorable event. Max, may you continue to bring joy and laughter into our lives. You richly deserve the warm and heartfelt tribute that so many people have paid to you, not just this week, but throughout your entire career, and which reflect the high esteem that people have for you. I hope you take some wonderful memories from this very special occasion today. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Lord Lieutenant. The First Minister will now speak and then will formally unveil the statute. Mr. Thank you all very much indeed for the chance to be here. Thank you to Max, especially for the opportunity to be with you at this fantastic occasion. Uh, I don't know how you are supposed to follow a message from uh, the king. As far as I know, he was never live in uh, but he's been live in the deep this afternoon. And that's uh, a fantastic tribute to Max and everything that he means, not just in this community, but across the whole of Wales, and indeed where Welsh people are to be found across the whole of the world. Uh, I wanted to begin by making the one serious point that I wanted to uh, convey to you this afternoon. You know, it is given to very, very few people indeed. A handful, I think, even in a hundred years, to find that the work that they do in the job that they have taken off that that translates beyond the hall, beyond what they do every day, and transports itself into the everyday culture of people who live in the part of the world to which they belong. And next Saturday, when I will be with some other people here in France to see Wales take on the might of Georgia, you can be sure that in the stadium, in the pubs, on the street, wherever people from Wales will be gathered, they will be singing, and they will be singing words and music that belong to Max Fox. And that is an utterly remote story. 
to have a cheat. This is the very, very beautiful human history. Earlier uh, in the summer, I was down in Pembrokeshire, where I met up with my new most years with Daniel Thomas, the uh, Welsh rugby player, captain of Penetti, of course, and captain of Penetti on the day of Penetti beat the All Blacks. Uh, and uh, I genuinely can say, but 51 years ago, as it will be, uh, next month, on that dark uh, and threatening Tuesday afternoon in Tenetti, when I should have been in school, well, actually, I was there, uh, in, uh, in the ground. <laughs> and uh, I had the huge privilege, only a couple of weeks ago, of meeting the Welsh team before they set off for France. Uh, and I tried to say to them that what they would be doing would have the eyes of the whole of Wales on them. And that they would be, in their way, making themselves part of the history of our nation. And that in 50 years' time, when they would be talking to people, about 2003 and everything that they have done, they would be able to tell their audiences that they were once wished to have left on that journey by somebody who by then a hundred years ago had been there infinitely on that great day. And you, people here this afternoon, children here especially, in 50 years time, in longer than that, will be able to tell the people that they, that today, here in Milady, you were here too. We were there on the day when this fantastic statue was unveiled and the extraordinary contribution which Matt's voice has made to life here in Wales is marked in the heart of the community to which he belongs. You heard from others and I wanted to mention it briefly as well. But far beyond the world of entertainment and the arts and the culture, of course, the extraordinary work that Max has done in supporting charities right across South Wales. This isn't the first time that we've been together uh, on the platform. We were there together, jointly opening beds for people in Merthyr Tidville who suffer from kidney disease and who every single week have to go to have kidney dialysis in order to keep themselves alive. Those beds would not have been there, would not have been there, if it wasn't for the enormous support, not just in a day or over a week, but over years, that Max has given to that cause as he has to so many others. And the statue here, it will remind us of all of that, as well as everything else for which he is so rightly known. Now a famous man once famously said, but if you want to know the word of a person, you should ask how they are known and estimated in the square mile to which they belong, a mystery of square. And of course, uh, that famous man who said that famous thing is Matt Boyce. Uh, and here we are, in that square mile, right in the heart of the community to which he belongs, and which so extraordinarily has come together today to mark that contribution. Uh, I know, just from the sheer walk that he received as he walked down here a few minutes ago, the enormous respect in which he is held in this community, and what this statue will mean to the people who The time to wait and the door to be a bad Thank you to much for everything he has done. Congratulations. And here's a day that will remain very, very long in the memory. Thank you all very much.
Our next speaker probably needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the band of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers are going to play now and then they will march off. Can we ask everybody to remain standing and, until the band and the dignitaries have left? And then please make your way up to Rugby Club. Thank you very much everybody for attending today. A very special day to Mark.
Right, so really simple. So it's a ball toss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so as you can see on the on the board itself, it's scored off with points. Yeah, yeah. So the aim is stand back a little bit, go 10 feet away, try and see what you can score. All right, okay. you're going to get it through the altar. Yeah, yeah, yeah through the altar. Okay. Right. Would, you, would, you, uh, would you do the honors? Yeah, of course I yeah. will, mate. Go so, um, can, can it be kicking? Can it be does it have to be kicking or just be throwing? Uh, rather throwing purely because of uh, the hedge. All right. Okay. So if you kick it too far or wrong. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. all right, so it's 100, yeah? Yeah, 100 50, top right. 50, 50. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to pass them in there. I'll pass them yeah. through, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yeah, go on, bud. Oh. Oh. <laughs> fast hands, fast hands. Oh! oh. Oh. Is it is is this pure fluke or oh, is this? Hi. Oh. oh! 